Welcome to Switch Comics. My name is Marco, and today is our monthly giveaway. This is the first time uh, with a kind of a new giveaway. It used to be only for channel members, but I've changed it. I kind of want to give you know a little bit of opportunity to just the people that are always there hanging out and supporting the channel by being there. And so if you're hanging out in our live streams every Tuesday night, uh, or you don't have to be every Tuesday night, but if you're in our live streams on Tuesday night, then uh, you know I roll an additional wheel of all the names there, and then one person from each night on the live streams gets put onto the big monthly wheel, if that makes sense. So um, yeah, we're going to do that, and this is a few additional names. That's also an, another way, if you are a channel member, you can actually win additional times to get on the wheel. Uh, however, uh, with channel members, you know, I want to have, you know, make sure to take care of my members. So if you are a channel member, you know, uh, you have the three different tiers. Uh, tier 1, you get two uh, comics out of the box. Tier 2, you get five comics. And Tier 3, you get ten comics pulled out of the box. So if your name is picked and it's any of those, even if it's a uh, stream win on the wheel, it'll make more sense when I show the wheel here in a little bit. We're going to pull the comics here first, though. But uh, but yeah, you get your your tier level um, as long as your name is picked. If you are not a channel member, you will just be receiving two comics out of the short box of goodies. As always, though, we're gonna go ahead and pull the comics first, build up some some hype, and then we're gonna go uh, pull a name. So starting off, and by the way, I want to make sure I don't show any comics. But the box is getting a little slimmer. I haven't been adding more to it. Because I know there's still like there's been keys like that have been in this box since the beginning, um, and so I wanted to instead of constantly filling it up and always keeping the odds higher, I'm intentionally let it slim down a little bit. Obviously, I don't want it to slim down too much, and then you know uh, comics start folding over and stuff like that. I don't want nothing like that happening. But I'm gonna let it slim down a little bit. I'll probably start adding some more here uh, pretty soon. So first comic out the bat is oh well I'll grab two comics we'll grab well we'll show them both off so first off we have a something's killing the children this is a great variant um, I don't know what the artist is but that is a killer cover I really really like that one and I actually don't even remember putting that one in there I kind of wish I, I kept that one for myself but apparently I put that one in in y'all's box uh, up next we have a Hulk 181 foil uh, this is the facsimile, and this actually reminds me, uh, before we we pull anything else, so for those of you that don't know, um, I'm always like doing something, uh, and I got these little things that I do, I have an eBay shop, and I actually uh, make stickers, and I sell stickers on eBay, so I have all kinds of, of different stickers on there, I also make keychains, which I have, like here's a a Brave and the Bold 28 keychain, and I just now am getting into a brand new thing. And that's why the, this Hulk 181 reminded me specifically. Um, I am making, and I just literally just made these tonight. I'm making pins. So these, and they actually have like I'm putting like heavy duty uh, locking pins on here as well. Uh, so these aren't on my eBay shop yet because I just bought uh, enough supplies to kind of test it out. Um, but I, I did order some more and these will be going up on the eBay shop soon so these you know you can pin to your jacket or backpack or whatever um, like I said they do have the locking pins and so you can pull that out um, and uh, yeah so these are basically foiled stickers because uh, again I've been getting into stickers um, and they are glued onto this uh, super glued so they are nice and, and snug and heavy duty on there um, the, it does have a, a clear coating on top of it to prevent from scratching and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm just super excited. I always like making things with my hands. I, I, I don't know. I think it's super fun. So I did want to share that. I had these sitting here because I'm, I'm working on a bunch of stuff. Uh, <laughs> and then I was like, oh, I better make this video. Anyway, let's, let's keep uh, pulling comics out of the box. And up next, we have a Thor 7. This, I can't remember the artist's name, but it is a 1 in 25 ratio. I meant to go back through and put stickers on all these, but I just remember, I don't know, I remember that's a 1 in 25 ratio. Up next, we have, this is, actually wrote it down on the back, this is The Last Witch, one per store. This is a uh, Momoko cover here. 
that I really, really like. Great story. Really wish they would continue with it because they left it at a place where it's like maybe they'll pick back up with it, but it's been a number of years now, and I'm I, not having too much faith that they will. I highly recommend reading this. Great story. All right, let's see what we got next. We have The Bloodstone, issue number two. Again, a story written by my friend, uh, where he is, Ricardo Martinez, but the art, uh, Alfonso, I, I don't know the artist, but Ricardo, a friend of mine, wrote this one. And uh, so we have that in here, because um, he sent me some copies. And, okay, this one's not signed. He signed some of the issue ones he sent me. Uh, but a really cool book. Nice, uh, you know, horror book. And then we have Amazing Spider-Man, what is that, 93? Uh, this is a Tyler Kirkham homage to 606, um, the J. Scott Campbell cover. And that's at six books now, so we got four more to pull. Oh, this one feels like they're taped together, or maybe they're just stuck together. Hold on. Because I have some comics that are taped together. I guess I can look at the back, that's not a big deal. Nope, it was just stuck together. Has a sticky sticker residue. So we have a nice 12 cent Amazing Spider Man issue number 73 in here. Nice uh, John Romita Sr. cover. Forgot that was in there. You know, not in the best of shape as you can see. But it's a 12 cent Spider Man. Under 100 Spider Man. I don't think you can be too mad about that. Again, I think that might have been in there like since the beginning. So that's what I'm trying to like. Let it slim down a little bit so you can get some of these cool books that are in there. And then we have a Punchline, the Gotham Game, issue number one. This is a Derek Chu cover. Big fan of his stuff. I've already lost my place. Is that eight, I think? Two more books. So we have Doom Patrol. This is another 12 cent comic. This is issue 115. Super weird, funky cool cover with a big cyclops guy shooting a, a blast what's cool is like i think when you think of most time when you think of a cyclops they at least like still have a mouth he's just an eyeball for a head i think that's super cool so two nice 12 cent books in there let me try to scoot them up so they're not getting crunched like i said and this is the last book here feels a little thick and we have carnage uh, issue number one, another 1 in 25 ratio variant. I think that's two ratio variant. We'll, we'll go over it. Well, I want to check this one. I, I don't know. I can't remember if this was a 1 in 25. It might have been. So, yeah, I looked this one up. It is the uh, Ward variant, the 1 in 25 ratio variant for Some of These Gummy Children, issue number 33. So there was uh, three ratio variants in here all in all. We're going to go everything one more time. We have Carnage number 1, 1 to 25 ratio variant. Doom Patrol, issue 115. Nice 12 cent comic. Punchline the Gotham Game. Awesome Ger uh, Derek Chu, not Garrett Chu. Derek, Ju uh, Derek Chu cover. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 73, 12 cent Spidey. Amazing Spider-Man 93, 606 homage, done by Tyler Kirkham. The Bloodstone, issue number two. A buddy of mine wrote this comic. The Last Witch, Momoko 1 per store. Thor 7, 1 in 25 ratio variant. Hulk 181, foil facsimile. And Something's Killing the Children, issue number 33, 1 in 25 ratio variant. All in all, I think that is a pretty solid stack. Again, would greatly appreciate for anyone that is interested in checking out my eBay store. I have all kinds of stickers and other goodies. Oh, did I show this one? This is one of the, the, the new ones I made, Dog Pool. I got a whole 340 there. Uh, and, and like I said, pins are coming. Pins are coming. Not quite yet, but get ready for them. I've, I've made some samples here. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with them. I like, I had a thought of, I was like, I think I can make it like this. And it worked out, you know. So anyway, let's pick our winner and see who won these books. So as you can see here, I have four names from Stream Wins. And then I have three names that are channel members. So again, and some of these people that got the Stream Wins are channel members. 
Um, you know, they're always in the streams, so it makes sense, but that could be you show up at the streams. Um, I might do some kind of video inclusion at some point, but I haven't figured out a way, I don't think, to make that super fair yet. Um, but anyway, um, so we're going to go ahead and pull our winner now. Uh, let's see who we got. It looks like it's going to be Terrence. So congratulations, Terrence. You won, I think, a pretty solid stack of comics. And since you were a Tier 3 member, you will be getting all 10 comics in the stack. That is the benefits given to my Tier 3 supporters. I appreciate everyone that hangs out, watches the videos... Um, like I said, I do want to try to, because I know not everybody can make the streams, um, but I don't know. Let, let me know in the comments, because that's the thing. I, I, you have to balance. It's like, okay, I have my, my channel members that are, you know, show me support, and I really appreciate that. I understand not everybody can, but I also have people that support me just by watching, and I want to also try to give back to them as well. Um, so with that, I know I don't put out as many videos anymore, so maybe it would be fine if I started putting, like, a way to each video, probably not shorts, but, like, regular videos, could give you a chance to get into, uh, the monthly giveaway, maybe. Um, again, I, I don't want to, I don't want to make the scales too weird, but I guess, you know, probably my channel members would also be able to get in on that so I, I think it would probably be fair and give other people potentially another another shot at, at getting on there that aren't normally on there um but yeah thank you all so much uh, i'm super excited um i got my again if, if y'all don't watch that short i'm working on well technically I, I finished this i made a little comic storyboard so uh, the art's not good i'm i'm not a good artist but um, it's, it's a complete idea of that. I'm working on another, uh, I got a few comics in, in the works actually right now that I'm writing, uh, but one in particular that I'm actually putting more effort into. And then on the side, you know, like I said, making things like pins and stickers and, and whatever I can, I can make with my hands and do something and whatever. So, uh, I'm always busy, always doing something and, uh, I appreciate y'all for, sticking around and and uh, yeah that's all i have it's very late so i'm sorry if that the ending of this video was a little rambly thank you all so much for watching and i will see you next time